What is up you guys? It's Katya Volks. Welcome back to the channel and finally another pre-workout review. So if it's your first time to my channel and this pre-workout brings you to me, well feel free to subscribe and go check out my other crazy videos of supplements and trying them out because that's what I do here. I like to try supplements, talk about supplements and yeah, try to give you information and give you my honest feedback on again supplements <laughs> but yes it's been a while since we did a pre-workout because i definitely have been off of caffeine for a while i, I did cut it out coffee oops i did cut out coffee 100 percent and then i just slowly been reintroducing it and so now it's time to try a new pre-workout and i have been wanting to try this one for so long so i finally bought it the ghost pre-workout and not just the ghost pre-workout I wanted to try the Welch's grape because yo girl mm, I love grape soda grape juice grape flavored things so when I saw that I was like oh dang I wonder if they use like real Welch's flavoring and stuff so we are gonna go get into the supplement like info and what's in it uh, because hell yeah you gotta know what's in it and if it's a good pre-workout and I want to say, first of all, I am happy that it shows you the full list of everything. No proprietary blends. Stay away from proprietary blends. It's crap. You know, it doesn't tell you how much of each thing is in there. You want to find something itemized like this. Um, and then, yeah, I'll just kind of generally judge this to see if it's got enough of each thing. But starting off at the top, I did notice that it has calories in it. It's got five calories, one carb, no sugar. So I don't know what that, that's from quite yet. We'll get into it. But otherwise, it has the Ghost Legends Welch's Grape blend. So it's got L-citrulline 4,000 milligrams, which is a good amount. Um, I would say the optimal amount is 6 grams. Then we got beta alanine 2 milligrams, which is also very good. 2.5 is usually where I like to hit. Oh! Welch's Conquered Grape Powder. So maybe the carbs could be from that. So I like how it tells you that it has 625 milligrams of Welch's trademarked the name Conquered Grape Powder. Then it's got Agmentine Sulfate, 500 milligrams, and Norvaline, 1000 milligrams. Then it's got this Ghost Smart Energy portion of it. And it starts with some taurine, 1000 milligrams, caffeine, 202 milligrams, and that is composed of caffeine and hydrous 165 milligrams and decaffeine malate uh, which 50 milligrams delivering 37 milligrams of caffeine super funky how this is all calculated but i like that it's very uh exact for people who like that kind of stuff then it's got alpha gpc which is alpha glycerol phosphoryl chlorine yep <laughs> rhodiola root extract which is for good mood instead theobromine olive leaf extract, NADH, and Rawolfia. Ralph, I can't freaking pronounce it. The only thing I wish it kind of had was maybe some like black pepper extract that just assists with absorption of things. I don't see that in this, but otherwise it does look fairly solid in the caffeine amounts, citrulline, beta alanine, those main things that make up a good pre-workout. So I'm pretty stoked to try this. I'm not going to try this until I get into my car. So we're going to go and switch over to the car and then I am hitting legs today and so I may film a little bit of that for you guys. But otherwise, yeah, I'm pretty stoked. This did, I did buy this off the website. So let me just tell you that kind of info. So for 30 servings, it's $44.99 and then they've got this that flavor, they have Warhead Sour Green Apple, Warhead Sour Watermelon, and Warhead Sour Black Cherry, which I would love to try those as well. Oh, I think those are just the Warhead ones. So they have to have other pre-workout flavors. Let me look that up. So of the Legend pre-workout, they have Grapefruit, Fruit Punch, Sour Patch, which this is like a red berry sour patch, the Welch's. Ooh, they have Sonic Cherry Limeade, which sounds really good as well. And then, of course, yeah, the Warhead ones. So that seems like all of it. They don't have, like, I guess, their own original flavors other than, like, the grapefruit and fruit punch. Um, otherwise, they kind of wanted to take on other names and make funky flavors, which I think is really cool. So I'm really stoked to try this. Um, but as I said, I'm going to do it in my car 
because for leg day, I do do a longer warm up. So I like to drink it right when I'm at the gym, but I'll catch you guys there so I can tell you what it tastes like. Sorry, but it is late here. It is 5.53, about to hit the gym. Got my pre-workout right here. I'm gonna put a scoop of it into my water and yeah, I don't have a tripod for this obviously, so I'm gonna put that on the camera real quick. Oh wait, there we go. That kind of works. So you can watch me mix it because I know you guys want to see that process too. Um, yeah, hi, how are you? Here we go. Pre-workout, one scoop. I'm probably not gonna even count the calories because I'm having a diet break this week and it just it's so minimal that it doesn't matter. But if I was um, like on a cutting or anything like that, I would definitely count it um, due to the one carb. So here we go. Just waiting for my boyfriend because I left a little her ahead. <laughs> I can't talk ahead of him. So yeah, looks kind of purple. I don't know how well you can see in this light in my car but it smells really good. So let's just, ooh, that smells really good. Let's see if it tastes like a grape juice. Hmm, interesting. I, would, I wouldn't say it's 100% like grape juice, but it's definitely got that artificial grape flavor. I don't know if it has to do with all the other ingredients in it because I feel like it had such a long list of ingredients. Some of those things in there really weren't necessary. I don't know about you guys, like what you think. I could definitely make a video on what makes a really good, just solid pre-workout because that's actually something my boyfriend and I are talking about coming out with a pre-workout because we have so many ideas on what makes a really good pre-workout. But anyways, flavor wise, I'll give it like a seven and a half out of 10. Like it's not bad, but I had really high expectations for it to have like Welch's grape juice concentrate powder or whatever in it. A little underwhelmed. I don't know. It tastes like a very light, almost, oh gosh, this would be like better if it was called like Jolly Rancher. But Welch's, I don't know. I don't know. It could have been done a lot better. A little disappointed, but that's all right. I want to see how it performs in the gym, so I'm gonna go hit legs. Where is that hoser at? He's better get here. Cause I gotta finish this and then warm up and stuff. So, cause it's already almost six o'clock. That poop. Anyways, I guess yeah. I'll see you in a bit. <laughs> Before I forget, I need to wrap up this video regarding my thoughts on the Ghost Legend pre-workout. Now, yeah, I only posted or uh, videoed two of my exercises. It was just kind of busy and I wanted to focus in on my workout because it's deload, so lower sets but more weight, you know, just pushing myself kind of a little extra. and. Dang. Okay, so I don't know if it has to do with the fact that I am having um, this week is a, whatchamacallit, oh, a diet break. That's what I call it. So I'm eating up to like 
500 calories more than what I usually eat. Well, actually 450 more, but still. So I could, you know, say that definitely the strength wise was due to that. Otherwise, energy, I, I mean, I'll say I was like a little tired because I just, you know, get off work and I go straight to the gym. 202 milligrams of caffeine was perfect for me. Nothing too crazy. The beta alanine was just enough that I already was like starting to get itchy when I was like in the middle of my work uh, warm up for squats because that was like my first exercise and I was starting to feel it, but it, was, it wasn't like overwhelming because I hate it when there's too much and then I'm just like, it's just, it's, it's annoying and it's distracting if anything. So at least there's enough that it's like, okay, I know it's working, I know my body's metabolizing it and using it. So yeah, I had a really, really solid workout. I mean, it's hard to tell regarding like the citrulline and the pump from all that stuff because I wasn't doing arms, um, just legs. So I don't know, I didn't get like a crazy leg pump, but everything felt really good. I mean, again, like I said, it could be the fact that I just have extra carbs and food in my body that's helping me push extra weight. But otherwise, the motivation was definitely there. The energy was definitely there. So, I mean, I'll see how it is. Um, otherwise, I mean, my rating for it has definitely gone up a bit. The flavor, I'm just kind of disappointed. Like, well, just grape. You're supposed to taste lab grape soda. But, you know, it's, it's still good. It's still tastes like grape, but I would say that I've had better grape flavored things like aminos and stuff that probably could be called Welch's and taste closer to Welch's grape. But otherwise, I did enjoy this pre-workout and I will be enjoying it because I mean, I bought 30 servings, so I might as well use it. So yeah, I mean, I don't know. Maybe I'll try another flavor for you guys. Unless you guys just want me to try another pre-workout or something, you let me know. Otherwise, next video, let's see what we'll have for you guys. I think we have another Lions pack. I know, so many, but they keep coming out with so many things. So please let me know what other kind of videos you want me to see, workout videos, topics, that kind of fun stuff. Otherwise, yeah, if you did enjoy this video, give it a nice big thumbs up. I know, I look like I don't have hair. I just realized, but anyways, yeah. Subscribe if you haven't already and join the Fit Fam and I don't know. I'll see you guys in the next video. Bye.